Whether you're taking on a leaf cleanup job or a landscaping project, you're not always going to have the right tool to accomplish that specific job, but don't let that slow you down. After 32 years of being in this industry, I still don't have all the equipment that I need to get every project done that I have to tackle. It doesn't stop me and it shouldn't stop you. So today I'm going to show you two ways that you can bid a fall cleanup job. We're also going to teach you how to make a leaf burrito. I'm going to show you how we handle doing jobs when we don't have all the right tools and equipment. So without further ado, Without further ado, without further ado, we're gonna get this video rolling. I can't believe I said ado. Don't have a leaf vacuum, but you got a trailer and a tarp. We call it the leaf burrito. $20 tarp, and you can haul a lot of leaves. When you don't have a leaf vacuum, you get creative. So he pulls plenty of slack over the front and the sides. That way he can wrap the leaf burrito and contain all the leaves as he goes down the road. Of course, an easy way to get rid of the leaves would be to leave just a little opening in the top of the leaf burrito as you go. <laughs> I don't know how many people would be too happy about that, but we wouldn't have to dump so many leaves. Now another cool trick is you can put a pallet in the front of the leaf burrito with a strap through the middle and then you can just back up your mower, hook it, hook it up to the strap and pull the whole leaf burrito right off. So what he's doing right now is he's blowing the leaves away from the structures so that the, the vacuum can come in and suck everything up. That, may, that speeds up the whole process and he'll come right in and grab all these leaves and go. So let's talk about bidding. This job in particular took us three hours shop to shop time from start to finish and we charged this customer $50 an hour plus $40 to drop the leaf. So the total bill this customer experienced was $190. That's how you're gonna formulate your bids, whether you use $50 an hour, 60, 65, whatever rate you can possibly afford. The first few leaf cleanups you're gonna do on an hourly basis and then you're going to watch your times. You're going to make sure that you understand exactly how long it should take you to do a project like this and that way you can start to switch from an hourly basis to a lump sum basis. Customers are a lot more comfortable and ready to sign on the dotted line when they have a lump sum when it comes to doing leaf cleanup. So you'll be able to look down the road at a job just like this and go, hey, the last time I did this job, it cost $195. This one is very similar. It should cost $195. Now these are the very basics of bidding. If you need more help, we have advanced formulas and programs available at Dirt Monkey University. And if you really want to take your education to the next level, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching for contractors to help them understand how to fundamentally bid each and every project where we will walk you through the steps, quickly get you to that place where you're going, where you're making immense profits. There's a difference between companies that are struggling and that are successful and our one-on-one -on -one mastermind group will get you to the point where you can sleep easy at night knowing that you're no longer living hand to mouth and you have plenty of money in the bank for a rainy day. I think she's cheating. That's my daughter getting creative and trying to figure out an easier way to speed up her work and make her life easier. Encourage your crews to think outside the box because it will ultimately lead to greater profits for you the business owner. That doesn't seem like that hard of work. Share with me in the comments down below when one of your crew members became creative and solved a problem that ended up benefiting the entire company. I love hearing these kind of stories. I didn't teach you that. going to unfold the leaf burrito. That's a pretty cool strap. You like those? I like them a lot. <laughs> what are those? Those are the RZ Easy Straps, I think, aren't they? They self-wind up. Quick loader. Quick loader. 
should put a link to that in the down below. So do you like them better than regular straps now? Oh yeah, easily. The load stuff down, strap and stuff in. That was it. You just flipped it over and it's it wound itself up. You don't always have to have the absolute right piece of equipment to still tackle a job. Just because you see another company having that one piece of equipment doesn't mean you can't handle that job. You gotta believe in yourself. You've gotta start thinking outside of the box and be, become creative in ways that you tackle projects. Eventually, you'll be able to reinvest in your business and grow and purchase the equipment you need. But until that point, don't let it slow you down. Now, God bless, go get them. I want nothing but the best from you guys and gals. Believe in yourself and you can do it. What do you think of that? I, I actually said a do. Like, like what, is the, what is the definition of a do? Like if you were going to Google a do. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, hey, truly. If you were going to Google a do, what do you think you'd see? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, without further ado, here we go. So we're gonna help, we're gonna teach you how to get creative. Nah, that's not what we're gonna do. And it pulls out all the debris with it. So you'll see that in a second. You don't want to be like that guy. He's been here since before I came. I'm already headed out. He's still there. <laughs> 